Hi again, uh, Brian. Uh, just wanted to go over some of the notes and my recommendations for the, I hope I'm pronouncing it correctly, the Graphio, or Graphio Chiropractic Clinic. Um, so again, here's a list of the different bullet points I looked at and everything highlighted in, highlighted in yellow is where I, I saw areas of improvement or opportunities for improvement. So starting with the website speed, uh, again, I use GT metrics uh, to judge, to uh, assess the website speed. Uh, came back with a 2.7 uh, speed, which is very respectable. It's very good or at all. But I did see like this looks like a low hanging fruit uh, type of deal here. Uh, leverage browser caching, that gets an F grade. Um, and that has a high impact on the site speed. So, you know, I'm not sure if this is a WordPress website or what, but um, there are definitely easy ways to um, implement browser caching, you know, either do a plugin, probably the easiest ways to do a plugin uh, in WordPress. Uh, that's assuming that this is a WordPress website. Um, but yeah, I think if we were able to fix that, then this could go down even more. And you still see the Y slow score, the waterfall could, there is uh, room for improvement there. So move the on-page optimization. So overall, not as many issues uh, with the meta tags. Um, I would say uh, first, uh, there were some duplicate page titles, so some, and I noticed those all came from. I know that they serve, uh, or they serve their website in Russian and Spanish. Or I think that's Russian. <laughs> Sorry, uh, but uh, yeah, it looks like for certain pages they still use the same page title, regardless of the language. So I think that would be simply going in there and making, you know, changing the language and the page title so those aren't duplicate. Uh, some of the page titles are also too long and they're getting cut off in the search engine results. So we need to reduce those to uh, no more than 65 to 70 characters. Uh, for meta descriptions, uh, some pages are missing meta descriptions. So again, uh, these don't have a direct impact on SEO, but if uh, the meta description is defined appropriately, uh, Google crawlers, they can grab whatever they want out of the content and use that as the meta description. And that might look really silly in some cases. So uh, we want to make sure that we define the meta descriptions appropriately. And then there are some meta or some pages that, um, I have duplicate meta descriptions and some of them are too long or too short. So just making sure that we you know, stay within the 70 character to 156 character uh, uh, limit. H1 tags, some pages are missing H1 tags. So this is very important because it tells Google exactly what that page is about along with the page title. So that's definitely something we need to fix and make sure that it's keyword optimized. And then for the images, again, this is this would be another way to improve the site speed. There are some images over 100 kilobytes. So we could compress those images, uh, but also keep the quality. I think that would definitely have a, a positive impact on the website speed. And then other than that, uh, some of the images are missing alt text. So we need to make sure we go in there and add keyword optimized uh, alt text to, to where, where it's needed. And then other than that, uh, just looking through the website and looking through the pages, I think this could be optimized for northeastern, uh, northeast Portland, because uh, I really don't see any mention of that phrase here. Uh, well, I see it here, and I guess that's one question I would have for you. Do we want to stick with northeast Portland or use the abbreviation? Um, I think for the title tags, we might want to use the abbreviation. Um, I'm not sure. Um, you know, what people will usually type up there in Portland. So yeah, any insight you have on that would be great. But you see here the title tag, we can add Northeast Portland at the beginning of this to make it more uh, local relevant. And I saw that for all of the pages. Now moving on, um, now the schema. Uh, so I think there's opportunity there. We can add the local business schema. So make it more local relevant to 
Portland and to that area in Portland. And also I would add the uh, person schema for each of the, 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 the chiropractic practitioners. Uh, just make sure that that's well, um, that's well implemented on the website. Um, and then for content, uh, I think they're doing a really good job with content. I really think uh, they're doing a good job with the internal links. So I saw that in the blog article. Some of those are linking back to the main, um, I guess, uh, types of services pages. So I think that's a really good, uh, really good start there. One page I was looking at was the FAQ page, and that's obviously it's great that they have that. But I think you can add even more questions to that. So. Uh, this is one question I think was actually on their FAQ. How does chiropractic work? And you see here, there are videos here in the search results, you know, pretty high up. So I'll get into that later. Uh, but you might want to go in here and look at what's included here in the, in the feature snippets. So I think a good one to add would be our chiropractic adjustment safe. Um, you know, maybe does chiropractic hurt? I think that might be a you know good one. Some people, someone might actually be wondering that. Um, and then just see what's ranking. And this is the Mayo Clinic, so uh, that might be a challenge to outrank them. But you know, if we could uh, put together a better response than what they included, I think that obviously positions the website to uh, rank there in a featured snippet. So. Uh, that's just a you know thought there, and since it's right here on the page video, that was going to be one of my other recommendations. I didn't see any video for them on the website, um, so you see what the type of things that are ranking. How does chiropractic work? How does chiropractic work in three minutes? How does chiropractic work? Uh, we can definitely get some videos created um, for each of their FAQ questions, and that could be something that ranks here in a video carousel. And if someone's searching directly on YouTube, obviously YouTube is the second largest search engine. Uh, that's another way for uh, potential patients to find them. Um, so, and then there's you know a whole another exercise we can optimize those videos for SEO on YouTube. But I won't get into that here in the video. Um, and so next, I analyzed the first page results for some phrases I thought they might want to rank for. So here I have Chiropractic Clinic Northeast Portland, which they're number three in the organic listings. Chiropractic, chiropractic Services Northeast Portland, Chiropractor Northeast Portland, and Chiropractic Center Northeast Portland. And the average word counts, they range from 179 words to uh, 1,896 words. So again, I would like them to be on a higher end of that range, if not to beat it. Uh, that way, we make sure that they are, um, you know, that they are well positioned to rank well for all of these phrases. And then for referring domains, I saw some websites on page one that uh, had no referring domains uh, to their ranking URL, and then I saw up to 37. So. They actually already have 30 referring domains, which is great. So I think, you know, what will be a good first step for their uh, backlink strategy will be to kind of just do a gap analysis, see where their competitors are getting backlinks that they're not, and then going out doing outreach for those for those backlinks. Uh, but there, there, that gap isn't wide at all. Now, citations, uh, there is some cleanup necessary. I saw that on some of their citations. Uh, they had, I, I think, maybe in the old business name or a different chiropractic clinic in their same location. It looks like maybe it's like an office building or something. Um, so that would be the first step. And then the next step, and, you know, obviously, since this is a, their focus on a local audience, we want to get them in the maps. Look at the businesses, the chiropractors that are ranking in the maps, and then just kind of do a citation gap analysis where all of the citations where they don't have a listing, we go out and create those for them. So uh, I think that will be a really good step for their citations and help position them to rank in the maps. Um, backlink audit, everything looked good. No spammy backlinks there. Uh, site architecture, I think they have a pretty good structure as far as their internal link structure. Uh, so I don't think too much is needed there. Um, you know, my only thing, you know, and I'm sure you could provide some insight on this. They have 
have the uh, uh, conditions or cases that they treat. So if there may be two or three that we want to focus on, you know, maybe it has a higher ROI for them, then, uh, yeah, we want to make sure we build silos and build blog articles that uh, target uh, or cover subtopics under those main categories. But, you know, as far as the internal links, those look really good. Uh, going back to my list of notes here. Um, so business reviews. So I think this is a, you know, definitely a big area of opportunity for them. So they have three reviews with a five-star rating. Um, I saw some of the businesses in the local pack have up to 45 to 50 reviews. And I know that's not something that we can manage. Maybe you do offer reputation management services, but not something I can really help with. But it can definitely help with their, uh, with their rankings in the local pack. And then also, uh, similar to what I mentioned for, for the Sync Interactive website, uh, creating some hyper-local pages for uh, areas in Northeast Portland. So these are some of the neighborhoods I found, Alameda, Concordia, Grant Park, Hollywood, and Irvington. I'm not sure if those, are, those would make sense for them. But again, if someone is typing, searching for uh, chiropractic services in those areas, if they have a dedicated landing page for that particular area, it would definitely help with their with their uh, organic rankings. And I've already talked about incorporating video. Um, and then one other, one last step here uh, for uh, in the top uh, search results, I saw many uh, aggregate sites, uh, notably Doctable and Yelp. Uh, so we want to make sure that I know they don't have a profile on Doctable, or at least it's not activated. And on Yelp, I didn't find them. Uh, so that could be better optimized, I think. Uh, but then there are a lot of other niche-relevant chiropractic directories and listings where we can add them. Um, so those would be you know, maybe step two after we take care of the citations. Uh, step two would be actually uh, going in there and creating different uh, listings and direct and, uh, and uh, profiles for them on these different websites. And this is just a sample. There are actually about 15 or 20 that I found, uh, but I just wanted to keep this video at a reasonable time. So uh, that's that. Um, and so just a heads up, uh, my prices will be different for each campaign. Um, I think the Sync Interactive website is going to need a little bit more work uh, or not little. I think it's just going to need more work to have a reasonable chance to rank well for some of those uh, phrases you're going after. Uh, but I think, you know, as far as link building and citations, uh, Graphio is further along. So I uh, just wanted to make that comment about the price difference. So um, thank you. Um, if you have any questions, you know, I think it would be best that we just set up a time to chat. Uh, maybe sometime early next week. Uh, Tuesday works best for me, and we can go over anything you have. Uh, so uh, thanks, uh, Brian, and have a good rest of your Thursday.